the morning. This is what I'm doing. These have all been reinforced with the aircraft plywood. But now I'm going to install my ailerons so that I can install the hardware to go with them. Now, in order to do that and not run into a problem afterwards, because I am going to cover this in vinyl, I'll do these areas in vinyl first. That way, I can, and I've pre drilled them already, I can install my hinges after the vinyl's in place. Make for a neat job. In addition to that, I will uh, cover these ailerons with vinyl as well. That way, this whole area is finished. Then I can work on my servo compartments. Uh oh. What's that all for? Here comes the boss. I'm not. I'm not working. Was I? Was I a bit bossy this morning? Yeah, you're in front of the camera. The back of your head. Oh in front of my, my God! Well, you can stand here and talk to me. You're, I was. I was bossy like... this morning. That's why he's calling me the boss. Yes. 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 Uh, Let me just shut the camera off for a second. That was my wife's visit. She bought this project for me for a Christmas present. Well. I made it clear what I wanted for Christmas. She was good enough to buy it for me. In turn, I had to uh, give in to some updated clothing and stuff like that, but she's worth it. Anyway, back to this. Now, I'm installing this, as I said before, ahead of time. So when I wrap my vinyl, I won't be completely wrapping it. I'll be wrapping it into the area that I can reach. Meantime, all of this will be nicely finished. Very sharp knife needed for trimming. If you want a neat job, dedicate a knife just to trim the vinyl. That's if you go the vinyl route. There. The vinyl, the particular type of vinyl I'm using is called Vivid. I'm going to, I'm going to recommend them only because, uh, that's it there. V V I V I D vinyls. Uh, I find the product very good. Uh, yes, what they call air release technology. Uh, no problem getting air bubbles out from under it. It bonds very well to any smooth surface, and uh, I've had no problem with it ever coming off. Uh, now, I use the heat, and it's not a heat gun, I use a hair dryer. Um, that increases, the, uh, shortens the bonding time. Like for instance, with this edge here, what I will do is, I won't try to take this big sheet that I'm going to cover it with, and try to cover the curve too. What I do is I cover this curve first, to about here, like this. And then, when I put my larger sheet on, I don't have to try curving it around here. I can just terminate it like here. Nice clean cut, you don't see it, and you've got a nice finish here. Small piece here, then the larger piece as you go. Okay, what do you think of the moose? I was doing this job, and I happened to know the shadow through the window. They come right up to the house. Those two are last year's calves. Get my glue to come out of here. The two smaller ones are last year's calves. The one by herself, that's the that's their mother. 
you know she's quite fat. Right now she's convincing the calves to leave home. The size of the mother that she's She'll be chasing them away totally very shortly and uh, she'll be going to have her new calves. This mother's been with us for about four years now. She had a single calf her first year and uh, every year after that she's had twins. We had one cow here. Well we had her for about nine years. Um, and all she ever had was twins. A good environment for them, lots of food, so they, uh, they have a good life. The bull, he's beautiful. Had a chance to do a measurement on him one year. Well, there's more than one of them, but, uh, he was uh, 12 foot 4, 12 foot 4 inches tall. And the reason I know that, he, he walked up to something one day and I thought, I can measure that. So after he left, I went out and measured where he had been standing. He was 12 foot 4 feet tall. Probably weighs about 1,600-1,800 pounds. All legs. Of course, you have to beat your way through the snow all winter long. But you get to know them all. The cows, the young cows, it's pretty safe. They are uh, very gentle. Um, they're shy at first till they get to know you, but uh, otherwise, uh, very friendly. The little bulls, on the other hand, well, the little bulls are well, typical little bulls. Yeah, they can be okay when they're very young, but uh, as they get older, they get a bit feisty. We have a lot of trails where I live here. It takes us out to the ocean and to uh, you know, some of the smaller bays. You can walk them quite safely, but if you see a, a bull, um, they'll walk right past you, as long as you don't get in their way. I've had them walk all the distance I am right now from the camera, the bulls, and uh, you just step aside, you go right on past you, he just ignore you. You ignore him, he ignores you. Cows on the other hand, it can be a little bit annoying. More than once we've had to shoo them away. And sometimes you literally walk right up and give them a smack in the backside. They'll jump, but uh, if they're into something good that they want to eat, your flower garden, your vegetable garden, then uh, it's very hard to get rid of them. Our calves are usually born quite late around here. They're usually born around the end of June. Um, the mother, a few days after they're born, uh, maybe a week, she'll bring them by as though she's showing them off. It's like, look what I got. They're right out in our backyard. In my case, backyard is Parks Canada. There's my property. 
little piece I bought behind me, and then Parks Canada. Get a fair bit of wildlife. The first wing. Now you can see, finishing this first is going to make for a very nice, clean looking job. Okay, this is the last of the large pieces. What I do is I put, uh, because it's black and you can't see anything, I put these little tabs on. I pre-align it, in other words, so that I can see exactly where it's going to go. So when I peel the backing off, which I'm going to do right now, Good. Now, on the big sheets, I don't start off using heat. Put it on cold. Gently. Smooth it out as you're peeling the backing off. It wants to lay flat. You've got a large flat surface here. So just pat it down. Now this does require heat to hold it for time. In my case I use heat. And there we are. Now. Now you can begin applying heat. Playing the heat over, smooth with the fingers. Ah, the credit card thing. I don't know. I uh, or squeegees. I prefer to use my hands on this. Okay. 